OPG blast. Oh hey guys, here and today we got three retail blasts. 22, 23. OPG like featuring eight cards a pack, nine packs per box. But before we get into OPG, this video is sponsored by GP Sports Cards. Looking for a unique approach to hockey box break? Check out gpsportscards.com. Be sure to stay tuned for the Montreal Expo breaks, which will be posted Sunday slash Monday. So be sure to check out the site. Should be some very intriguing breaks in there. And thank you, GP, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, OPG Blasters. Looks like we're getting nine total packs in here, which is important because, well, if you look at the odds for OPG, it's a very bare retail product. A lot of stuff taken out. No number cards, it seems. No patch cards. No platinum previews. All-star marquee rookies are every other pack. Retros are every other pack. It even says four retros, so we have nine packs. So we should be getting four and a half retros. Blues, one in six. Red, one in 36, so tougher there. But main draw for this product, also Premier one in eight, but the main draw, yellow borders. Every pack. These Blaster exclusive yellow borders, they were full-size cards this year. Last year, they were the small tall boy cards. I prefer them being full size. And if you get the right names, the most recent Maddie Benier sale, that's pretty darn good. Like, that'll pay for a couple of blasters right there, so we'll get nine of those in here, so I do wish OPG was more fleshed out, more cards to chase in here, but regardless, these blasters cost, I believe they were 30 bucks, it might have been 25, but let's get right into it. 22, 23, OPG retail. Okay, OPG retail. Hopefully you get some good yellows in here. The packs are very yellow there, so eight cards a pack. Let's check out the retail configuration. Should be getting a yellow in every pack, so I will go through the base faster here. I've seen this quite a bit. Even though the base set is expansive, uh, we got Kyle Connor. Here's the first yellow. Well, these are every pack, the yellow border. They're full size cards this year. Cool to have retail exclusive parallels. And these are mass blasters as well. Doesn't matter if you get them from your best pals or a card shop or wherever, they'll be the same. So there's that. Got Unders Lee Retro. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get the blank backs in here, but Unders Lee and more base. Variations as well. I'm pretty sure they're not available in here. I'd be shocked if they were. I'm surprised playing cards aren't in here, which is another surprising thing. Yeah, I don't see playing cards in the odds there, so that's weird. But All Star Huberto. Got these Premier, which are one and eight. Of Nico Heischer, hey, Jonathan Tate, yellow there. Base. I wonder if Kane's gonna come back now since Bedard's gonna be on Chicago. Kinda hope he does. But got the checklist there. Uh, Marquee rookie Dylan Holloway. Did we finally have a rookie in the yellow. Note we got Jasper Weatherby. One of the weaker ones you can get there. Yellow. And we got a blue. Ryan Reeves. So these are one and six, I'm pretty sure. So Reeves. Base. Not a whole lot doing thus far. Uh, oh, Yuri Slavkowski. Rookie. One of the best rookies there. Hold his pink to 75 from a loose pack recently. That's a really nice pull there. There's a base one of him. And oh, Vasilevsky. So good name in the yellow there. All star. Always has an intense stare. And more base. Next pack up here. Ilya Samsonov. I'm recording this the day after. At least got eliminated. We shall see what happens with the team, but I'm probably throwing up a nuke explosion right now, but Kyle Burrows, yellow. There you go. Matt Duchesne retro. R.I.P. Austin Matthews as a leaf, I think, but there's base. She's very sad. We shall see what happens. Let's see if Keith, Dubas, or even Shanahan comes back. Maybe they all get the axe, but uh, we got Ryan Reeves. Or Reeves, yellow there. We got, oh, Jack Quinn retro rookie. That's not too bad. For Jack Quinn, so good pull there. Good rookie. More base. I do like the 22-23 crop. Some really quality players, even though 23-24 is going to violently overshadow the past five years of crops. But uh, we got Yanni Gourd. Like, I'm thinking, how much is a Bedard Future Watch Hour going to go for? Like, depending on performance, it could be five to ten thousand dollars, which is kind of scary. Young Guns, we shall see. There's a bunch of parallels of Young Guns now, so that'll be TBD, but it could be at least a $500 card. Yanni Gourd, yellow there. Base. Let's continue on here. OPG. Three, boss. Yellow, take that. Robin Salo. That's not a rookie. He's, yeah, it's his base there, even though he's considered a rookie for 22-23. Dealing Played 21 games the past year, but there you go, Robin Sal Retro. More base. And a file pack for Blaster 1 OPG. I'm probably not gonna get a case of this stuff unless I make it like one or two videos because I don't think there'll be a lot of interest in me opening two boxes at a time for like eight videos. So I'll refrain from getting a case of this stuff yet. But Lucas Dolstal, marquee rookie, good young goalie there. Hey, White Johnston, premier rookie, and Matias Michelli. That's a really good pack there. Yellow rookies. So we got three rookies, all quality in that pack, including the retail exclusive yellow. So there's that. Base. All right, there's Blaster 1. Let's open up Blaster 2. I mean, it feels like this is the only product where I feel like I'm not getting aggressively ripped off. Is there a beeping thing in? Oh my gosh, double beeping thing. <laughs> you got like the square beeping thing and you got the traditional one, so there's that. They really don't want you shoplifting this. You know, I didn't buy it from Walmart, so that wasn't even a thought this time around. We get Alex Wenberg, another crack in yellow there. We got Sam Steele Retro, who's on Minnesota now. It says right there, so there's that. More base. Next pack up here, what do we get? Timo Meyer All-Star. Oh, Shane Wright, Premier Rookie. Plenty of Seattle in here, but there's a Shane Wright Premier Rookie. Brady Kachuk, yellow. More base. Okay, we get All Star Brady Kachuk and oh, Brant Clark. There's a good name right there. Yellow rookie. One of the better rookies to get there. So, Brant Clark, nice pull there. I'll take that. <sighs> Get out of here. Okay. Oh, Martin Natchez. Yellow there. And we got Teddy Bluger retro. Base. There we go. Oh, Matty Beneers rookie. That's a relatively cheap card. Still value right there. I'll take that. And Charlie McAvoy. That's color match there. Yellow. Cool. More base. At least close enough to color match, but 
get oh, Eric Robinson yellow, yeah, Seth Jones retro base. Uh, oh, Tori Krug yellow, Markov retro. Two more packs of Blaster too. We get a quality rookie in the yellow here, perhaps. Oh, Morgan Geeky. I'm getting all the Seattle players here. Yellow there for Geeky. Dimitri Orloff retro. Before we get traded to Boston, so there's that. And a final pack for Blaster number two. Fun retail product. Pretty much paper platinum. I wish you would flesh it out more for 23-24. But we got Eric Schalgren, Marky Rookie, and Eunice Donskoy, yellow. Enough Seattle yells. I'll probably just throw them up as a lot, I think. But there you go, Donskoy, yellow. Vorchek, blue. More base. And the final Blaster, 22-23 OPG. I don't think it matters what I pull in here. I definitely recommend this product. Some of the yellows actually have some pretty good value. It's a nice base set, nice huge base. Shane Wright. Marky Rookie, very Seattle themed here. There's a Nick Suzuki Premier. Havo Teravine in yellow. More base. And then let's continue on. On here we get JG Pajo yellow. We got Brian Point retro and more base. And then we get the Brink at All Star and Bobby Brink. Marky rookie. So decent rookie there, Bobby Brink in the yellow. So I'll take that. It's good to get yellow rookies. And we got Jonas Siegenthaler yellow. Clayton Keller retro base. Okay. Oh, Frederick Carlstrom, Marky Rookie, and Michael Rasmussen, yellow. Jesper Bratt, blue. And more Seattle players. Jeez. Okay. Four more packs of Blaster 3. JT Coffer, yellow there. Oh, Mark McLaughlin, Marky Rookie, retro. There's McLaughlin, base. Three packs left here. Jacob Lauco, Marky Rookie. Jamie Ben, yellow. Andrew Ladd, for whatever reason, and more base. Two more packs. Yeah. Alex Newhook, yellow. Black White Cloud, retro. There's that. And the final pack. 22-23 OPC Blasters. And I'll take anything in here. I'll take a retro rookie, perhaps. Mm, Evgeny Kuznetsov, all-star. A premiere of Josh Norris. And we do have a marquee rookie. Could be decent, so let me just check these cards here. Who are we hoping for? It's a devil? No? Coyote, that's... Uh, is that McBain? No, that's... Uh, buddy's name. I already forget buddy's name. Nathan Smith, that's it. Marquee rookie yellow. So hey, another yellow marquee rookie. And that concludes this break. 22-23 OPC Retail Blasters. All in all, a pretty good break there. Very Seattle theme there. We got two Shane Wright rookies, a Matty Beneers rookie, and we got even more Seattle here. Four of them in the yellows. And we did get some good names in the yellows here. Vasilevsky Larkin got the Michelli rookie, which is quite good there. Got the Bobby Brink. So all in all, I'd say that's a really good break. Definitely recommend this product. Brant Clark there. So very solid there. I'd probably say this is one of the better retail products, even though it's very bare. Like it's just the yellow parallels and not much else. Like this is pretty much all you get other than the yellows. So didn't get a red here. There's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more rings to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.